This right here, you see this? This is the way. my friends and welcome back to Disney Springs. Started off today with the delicious iced caramel macchiato thanks to the Kukaro family. Thank you so much again for your gift card. It means a tremendous amount. Today we're going to explore a little bit more. As you can see it's a great big beautiful today here at Disney Springs. I'm going to go inside probably World of Disney just for a little bit later but I also want to take a look at transportation. Heard from some friends but some of the transportation options, the buses here at Disney Springs, might be running. I'm just gonna take a quick look. Now, as you may have heard, Uniqlo is indeed closed. They took a look at the uh, door earlier. It's closed as of now. We'll see when it opens in the future. Hopefully it won't be too, too long, but for now, Uniqlo, Disney Springs, that store right there, and, and there, is closed. Something I've noticed here at Disney Springs, and you may have too as we've been walking around together, you really don't have to touch anything that's not yours. Like a coffee, you touch that. Besides that, Everything else is either motion activated, already propped open for you like those trash cans, or just you don't need to touch it. It's amazing. You know, I'm noticing all sorts of small details that I'd never noticed before. Take a look at this fence right here. See how it's like the sun rays shooting out like a half circle of the sun and the rays shooting out there. All the fence here, all the way up to Deluxe Burger there near the Welcome Center is like that. That's awesome. We've got the Sunray fence, but look at this, the palm tree fence. It's these small details that you have the opportunity now to really dive into and take a closer look at. I love that. Okay, so here we are at the bus station here at Disney Springs. You can see that most of the resorts are not actually listed here. We've got the Grand Saratoga Springs, Old Key West, Contemporary Polynesian Boardwalk, Yacht and Beach, Animal Kingdom Lodge, Riviera Wilderness Lodge, and Fort Wilderness. Those are the only ones that are running right now. And there are buses in the lot right there. And I asked one of the security officers if you know we can take the buses to the resorts. Because I did hear a rumor that you can take the bus to the resort even if you're not staying there. I don't know if that's true or not. I want to make sure it's 100% accurate before I jump on a bus somewhere. But uh, we're going to walk around and find out. Just spoke to a few cast members here at the bus depot. And they told me that if you have a reservation, it shouldn't be an issue. But I was wondering if you if you just pick up food, if we just go and maybe just like pick up some food, because I know that there are some spots that are opening that you can just kind of pick up food, if that's allowed as well. So I'm, I'm gonna triple check, we're gonna make sure, but it looks like the buses are indeed running. We just gotta figure out if we're allowed to get on them. I wanna make sure I follow all the rules here, because that's important, but uh, we'll find out together. In total, I've spoken to four very friendly security officers and two of the bus operators here at Disney Springs. The consensus that I'm gathering here is that if the bus is running, to the resort and you have a reservation you can go if they are accepting those who with the you know kind of quick service reservations then you can go there too but apparently it really depends on the situation at the resort so if the resort is open and they're accepting that then you can go otherwise it's a no so it sounds like yes if the certain areas are open so well you know it's an evolving situation we'll figure it out but uh for now they're not running at the moment. So I just took a look online and confirmed with a very kind cast member leader here at the bus station, Tina, very, very nice cast member, who was telling me that if you have a reservation, and I did double check, I made a phone call too to Disney Guest Relations to make sure we're on the right track as of now, this could change the future. But as of now, unless you have a reservation at the resort, not, not to stay there, but for dining. So you'd need a dining reservation, but you might need a hotel reservation to get the dining reservation at this time. Things are changing, they're adapting. But at this time, you can take the bus to the resort that you have a reservation at if you're staying there or if you have a dining reservation. Otherwise, they're reserved for those with those reservations. So that's good to know right now. We'll come and check that again in the future, but as of now, that's what we're being told. Oh no, as I was walking, the little metal clamp for my nose just came off. Oh no! Okay, maybe I'll hang on to this piece of metal and then glue it back on later. Oh well. When you think about it, it does make sense. We want to reserve the resorts for those with confirmed reservations or dining reservations, not for those who just kind of want to go pick up food as much as we would love to. I think that part of doing our part now is to follow all the guidance, even if it's like suggested guidance, like could you get on the bus? Maybe, but you should have a reservation before you get on the bus. So I want to make sure we all follow all the rules here and kind of do our part, you know, slow the spread as the uh, 
the uh, different entities are telling us to do so. So that's part of the process. So we'll get back to that standard, you know, resort hopping that we know and love. But for now, you know, per the suggestions by Disney and confirming with a lot of different cast members, Resort, resorts are reserved for those with reservations or with dining reservations. Now I know it can be a little bit confusing trying to figure out, you know, which buses are open, transportation, but that's why I'm sharing it with you because it's an evolving situation and I believe that everyone, not just Disney, but all the companies affected by this are doing the very best they can to try and balance everything. It's just a balance. It's going to be a little bit, you know, questioning, oh, or, or is this open? Is this open? Can we go this? Can we do this like we normally do? It's going to be in question for a little bit. That's, that's just how it's going to be for a while. We'll get back to normal. It just takes time. I have no doubt that we're going to see things change. Maybe something's going to open and then it will close again. Or maybe something will you know, stay open and they'll change kind of their policies. And we've already heard about some of the abbreviated menus at many of the uh, dining locations all around Walt Disney World. So again, when I say evolving, it just means that sometimes we won't have a clear answer for a little while. And that's okay, but that's that's what the vlogs are all about. I'm going to share it with you as we go through this process together. It seems that I've stumbled upon a super nice, cool spot. I'm right by the Welcome Center. I'm in one of these rocking chairs. Super nice by the Welcome Center. Look at these fans. Super nice and cool. It's a little bit hot, as you can tell. I'm sweating a little bit. But this is nice. Yeah, this is a great, great spot to relax. And even when it's been crowded at Disney Springs before all this global situation started, this area is usually not that crowded. So looking for a cool spot in the shade, right by the Welcome Center in these chairs. So nice. Time is now 9.45 in the morning. A couple more crowds starting to appear here in Disney Springs. I'm gonna make my way towards World of Disney now. Do a tiny bit more shopping. Maybe I'll find a couple items that I love. All right, 12 minutes to opening. We'll sit down and relax for a bit. Look at these awesome face masks. World of Disney opens in just about three minutes here, but look at the sign they just put outside, Disney Claus face masks, and I love the different characters right there. I might have to stop by co-op after this. Yeah, I'm between Stitch and Mickey. Probably gonna go with Mickey, but Stitch is great too. Wow. Looks like they are opening up here. Here we go into World of Disney. Let's take a look around. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of new merchandise here. I don't think I saw these 2020 socks right there. I love it. Oh my gosh, they've got the mini graduate, but they also got Stitch. What? That's so cool. Take a look at these right here. You remember last time we looked at the red ones, but now they've got the Tiki Room one. What? That's so cool. And they've got a blue one with the um, the balloons right there. And the price is $75. I can see it on that one, so I imagine they're all $75. Those are great though, along with the uh, standard lounge fly. Take a look at the hat right there. Welcome foolish mortals. I'm not gonna pick it up just because, you know, we're only supposed to touch things we're gonna buy, but that is a great one right there. I don't think I've seen it before. Take a look at this entire mannequin spot right here, kind of this circular spot. Look at these uh, awesome tumbler mugs right there. That's great. The hats, kind of that yellow and greenish blue. That's great. Check out that Skyliner jacket right there. That is awesome. That is so, so cool. I only see it kind of, a, I think it's a kid's size. No, you know what? No, that's an adult size. I strike that. Guys, that's extra small. So, yep, they have adult sizes too. That is one of the coolest raincoats I've seen. That is awesome. Now, there's a very nice shirt right there. I think of my mom or sister right away when I see this kind of shirt right here. I feel like that's one that they'd really like, kind of the polka dots on top and the uh, pink below with mini. Wow. Just in time for the 4th of July, take a look at that lounge fly bag right there. That is awesome. Oh my gosh, I love it. And you can see that, uh, the uh, throw right here, the blanket throw. You see kind of like it's it's half and half right there. Kind of the uh, Mickey outlines there and you can see the American flag Mickey right there. Oh, I love it. Ah, 4th of July, gotta love it. And more Americana right here. Look at those hats right there, small dresses right there and small sweatshirts as well. I love that sweatshirt, Liberty and Freedom. Oh my gosh, that's fantastic. The fanny packs, the socks. Oh, oh. That might be my favorite Disney tie that I have seen yet. Kind of that nice classic look, but the Mickeys with the American flag on them. That is great, $44 for those, but super nice. I don't think I've seen these before either. Take a look at these aprons right here for Woody and Jesse. And look up here, look at this. You got like a, a Prince Charming apron right there. You've also got the evil stepsisters, love it, and Belle and the Beast right there. And you can see those are actually aprons. These aren't just shirts. Those are, see the little straps right there? Aprons. Wow. Tons of great items here. I'm actually gonna make my way now to the Marketplace Co-op and uh, take a look at those masks. I think it's about time that I get a Disney one. Got a little gift for family here. Can't tell you about that because then I'd reveal the gift to family member. Can't be doing that. So let's go ahead and make our way to the Marketplace Co-op. Here's that full list. Take a look. Oh my gosh, they've got a lot of great ones. You can see the ones that are currently in stock and those that are not. You've got Stitch, Mickey, Pooh, Goofy, uh, Marie, Hulk, and those different designs right there, including, oh my gosh, Baby Yoda. I, that might be it. That might be my new mask right there. I, I need a Disney mask. Which one to get, which one to get. Sure enough, not only did I get a mask for me, but I also got some for family members as well. Thank you so much to Avery. Avery, thank you so much for your gift card. It means a tremendous amount. Take a look 
at my new mask. Okay, here we go. Our brand new mask is Baby Yoda. I love it. I love it, that's so cool. I gotta tell you right off the bat, this mask is so much easier to breathe from, and I love it. That is so, so awesome. Thank you again, Avery. Really appreciate that's it. That's more like it right there. I got, I got that Disney style going on, walk around Disney Springs with the child, Baby Yoda. What a great day. Really, really great day. A lot of great items we got here at Disney Springs. Now making my way out. The more I look at this mask, the more I like it. Uh, that's super cute, but I keep thinking to myself, like, wouldn't it be nice to have like a different mask for a different day of the week? Yeah, I might come back to co-op and get a couple more masks. Four for 20, so yeah, that, that might be happening. We'll see. To me, this idea of a Disney mask, and by the way, it actually fits really nice and snug around my face. There's like no openings here. It's great, but it's easier to breathe, this kind of thing. I, I'm so impressed. But one of the big things here is the fact that they're making it fun. They're, they're bringing the fun where they can. I understand the seriousness of the global situation. I think we all do. But to bring about the fun where possible, I think is awesome. I, I really, really do. Here's a... There's a moderately good chance I'll be back to get, collect a few different other designs of masks so we can share in it together. Now, not getting on any of the buses, but you can see they are indeed running right over there. Thanks so much for being a part of the magic with me today. It was so much fun sharing it all with you. Until next time, have a magical day. I have spoken.